All right, <clears throat> welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your Windows PC and then use that to play all of your Steam games. So if you don't know, Steam has support for a wide variety of controllers, usually all the major big players. They got Xbox control drivers, they've got drivers for PS5 and PS4 controller. They handle the Nintendo Switch controller, and they even handle the vast majority of generic USB plug-in controllers that don't really have a major brand. And to get all this stuff working, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your PS4 controller is plugged in to your Windows PC, and then open up Steam, go to the upper left corner, click the, the word Steam, and then hit Settings. We're going to look for, in the left-hand sidebar of the settings panel, go to controller, and we're going to start out by going to general controller settings. So what this is going to allow us to do is we actually have to enable third-party controller support. So that means you got to make sure that it selects PlayStation configuration support so that you can use the PS4 controller and also the PS5 controller. If you want to use Xbox, you can enable that here. If you have a fancy Xbox controller, that's enabled right here. It also does Switch Pro controller configuration using the Nintendo Switch button layouts. Unfortunately, it does not support Joy-Cons because they do some weird stuff. Most people don't like to deal with them. So once that's all set up correctly, you should be able to see your PS4 controller show up at the bottom underneath of, con of detected controllers. If you don't, you might have to unplug and replug it in a couple of times. I can show you right here, as I plug it back in, it should pop up and show up at the bottom here. And then there's even this fun little pop-up window here that says what just got plugged in. If that's all showing up properly, that's great. If it's not, and something else is going on weird, there's a little hole in the back of your controller underneath the light bar that you can press a little paper clip into there, press and hold for like 12 seconds, that'll hard reset the controller, and then see if that will help it get detected when you plug it in to your PC. And you can also plug this in and hook it up via Bluetooth as well if you don't want to play with a cable. So once that's done, we're just going to hit back and then I'll take us to the main Steam page again. And then we'll go through big picture mode and desktop configuration. But starting with desktop, what is this? So this actually allows you to move around your controller on the desktop like you're using a mouse. So if you don't see anything like I don't, don't freak out, nothing's wrong, it just doesn't have these set up by default. We can go to the bottom of this page and click Browse Configs, and we can go to Recommended and we can grab the default desktop configuration. This is an area where you'll be able to find a lot of other templates and things potentially shared by other people, depending on what game you're trying to set this up for. But for the most part, we just want to use the default desktop configuration. This all looks good, I'll hit Apply. And then boom, you have a desktop configuration. This allows you to do things like use the touchpad to move around the mouse, which is just the best. I love this a lot, actually. Uh, and that's really nice to have. And if you ever want to rebind anything yourself manually, all you got to do is find it in one of these little pop-up sections and then click on it. Then you can rebind almost any key on the keyboard, or sometimes there's just a pull-down menu like this where you select something else for it to do. So that's going to be the desktop configuration. We'll click Done. The other one is Big Picture Mode Configuration. This one should be set up by default, which it is for me. If not, just browse Configurations and grab the default one. And what Big Picture Mode is, is Big Picture Mode is like the console mode for when you project Steam into your living room or if you use, like, a Steam Link setup. And it's kind of nice if you're going to, you know, use that whole setup. Otherwise, you might not need to worry about it. And again, you can change configurations by browsing through uh, configs that are set up by default, or you can click on any one of these sections and change it. And there's also a bunch of different profiles for a bunch of different things that you can do in big picture mode. Like it's got a web browser, you can select mouse position, on-screen keyboard, all that good stuff can be manually reassigned. Although I find the defaults for this are pretty good. Now, when you go into your game, once you've got this plugged in and it's showing up correctly, you're good to go. You can probably skip the big picture in the desktop configurations, 
this is just going to pretend to be an Xbox controller once you get into games. And sometimes, depending on how the game is set up, it might actually display the PlayStation controls. This is mostly meant for use with the uh, games inside of Steam, but if you want to try and use the drivers from Steam in another game that's not directly associated with Steam and you have from like a different launcher, you can go to add game in the bottom corner of your library and you can add a non-Steam game. You just go through this big long list of programs installed on your computer, select it, and then you can launch that program through your Steam library and then that gives you the option of using the Steam overlay, which then gives you the drivers that control the controller. That is not foolproof, this thing I just showed you, but sometimes it works. Alternatively, if you still wanna use a PS4 controller, I have a tutorial for DS4 Windows on the channel, just go search for that. It's pretty easy to set up, provided everything works correctly. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how to hook up your PS4 controller to your Steam setup on Windows PC to use it to play games. Hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.